Hit it. Mario Lopez, in an entertainment business where most child stars fade. Jesse's gonna rip my eyes out, punch my face in, then break up with me. It's your usual pattern. He's leveraged his fame from the Saved by the Bell sitcom to build a successful career as a celebrity host. But now he's expanding into film and documentaries with Champs, a film project about his love for boxing. I sat down with Lopez and Champs director Burt Marcus to talk about the evolution of Mario's career. I want to ask you about how you managed to stay so relevant. You started out as a child actor and so many of these guys end up not making it. How did you do it? Well, thank you, uh, first of all. Um, you know, when, you, when, you're, when you're a child actor, it's always tough to make that transition. And then when you're a child, act and then when you're a child actor, compounded with being ethnic, then it's even tougher, mm -hmm. right? So I'm a child actor, Fewer roles. I'm Latino, and fortunately, um, I was, I was given an opportunity, and I think I, I just didn't want to look at myself as an actor either. I wanted to be a host. I wanted to kind of get into producing. I wanted to get into radio. I wanted to right. do a bunch of different things, like dance, and so I've, I've gotten into writing and been on Broadway. And so I just wanted to do a lot of different things to just kind of be diverse, just because I like to do them. And not only that, I figured it'd sort of create more opportunities too. But you have the brand now, so. As your brand grows, you have the luxury of being able to take more control, and maybe that's where you want to be. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I do. I want to. I want to get more into producing. You know, I'd love to continue to work with Bert and do more stuff. This was a crazy. He was so patient with all the stuff that dealing with the he schedule, but he understood. <laughs> you know, it wasn't me and what right. we did, we could. But I'd love to continue to do more stuff like that. Want to create more opportunities for uh, for more Latinos too, and have more of us tell our stories and and. Um, because the, the numbers are what they are and the population is what it well, is, which and, I'm sure I'm not to tell you. And that's you. what I was going to say, the demographical explosion yeah. of the Latino uh, people in TV and film and everything, that's got to be an opportunity now, right? Well, you would think, but right? But you perceived I mean, as a disadvantage at one point. Yeah, well, that's the irony. But now, I mean, you can't really ignore the numbers. They are what they are, and it's over half the country, and it's only going to continue to grow. And we're the youngest demographic, too. Mm -hmm. And with the buying power. And so it's... it's, it's uh, it's a good, it's a great sign. Did you have a business plan when you were a young guy saying, okay, I eventually want to break into this and my real vision is to do docs and to do films and to, to be a mogul? No, I, as a kid, I mean, I was always, because I got into the business as a kid. I was, I was nine, ten years old and I just sort of fell into it. When I fell into it, I fell in love with it. And okay. once I fell in love with it, then I just wanted to learn as much as I could about it and all the different aspects. And I knew it was very difficult to um, just be consistent with it because you're not in control of your own destiny. You know, you, you don't, you don't really, you, you can't say, all right, I'm going to do this show, then I'm going to do this show. You, you, you have no say in that. There's so many factors and so many things out of your control. Um, and just for whatever reason, things have, uh, have I've worked out all right. But now, you know, fortunately, uh, at the point where you get to do projects like this, like our, our documentary, which is, uh, which is from the heart and, and, and something that um, you're, you're trying to convey a message and um, something that you, you get excited about because this is, these are one of those things that you can control. And you were the narrator and the producer of it, right? Correct, Called yeah. Called Champs. Champs, that's, uh, are, are we, are we uh, committed to, to Champs? Okay. Champs is a kid because we're, we're waffling on the title. And I had a chance to see this in New York. You have Mike Tyson, you have Sugar Ray Leonard, all of these superstars. How did you get the participation of all these people? Well, being in, just surrounded in the, in the game yeah. for, for a while now, from either the gyms or working uh, on the broadcasts themselves, then I become friendly uh, with the fighters. And so just, just simply calling and kind of let them know, letting them know what we're trying to do. It's a very thoughtful take on boxing and your love for boxing. Was it Thank important you. for you to do that? I, I just think it's the type of or the only sport where you're completely naked in all your vulnerabilities and you really find out what you're made of. You, there's no other sort of sport that exposes the true essence of you as a man. But he told me <laughs> that you made him fight. And he ended oh, up yeah. getting three ribs broken because you were trying to prove the three ribs. I don't know about the three ribs. <laughs> you really did that to him, man? Well, I wanted him to get in there. I was hoping to inspire him, just as a friend, to get in there and start working out. Okay. And then, you know, he, I'm like, oh, this is like serious. We're not shooting hoops, you know, you can't just jump in. <laughs> I said, I want you to see, I want you to see how it just, 
just so you can, as a filmmaker, just kind of appreciate it, just to get a little tiny glimpse. Right. So he went in with uh, our buddy for, uh, for, did you do two rounds? You only do one. No, I did two. Did you do I two? I did two, four okay, rounds. Did two, oh, rounds. two full rounds. <laughs> it's just, it's a different, part. like I said, I mean, your respect for the sport's so different once you actually get in the ring and sure. get hit. Even with it, with headgear, you just have a whole new respect for for the the discipline, the how hard it is just to hold your hands up for three yeah. rounds and, and, and fight like that. And I have like a that. whole new respect for you. Yeah. Nah, I appreciate it. There's no other sport where the intention is to hurt the other person. And that's what I was really. About. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you think about it, everything else, even if football is physical, it is. Your intention is not to hurt them. You want to score a touchdown. You want to win the game, right? There's injuries, but that's not your intent. Your intent in boxing is to hurt that person. You want to knock him out. How many times have you broken your nose? Only once as a kid, not with boxing. <laughs> yeah, not with boxing, ironically. But uh, but tell me, you got staples and then had to host the Schwarzenegger. Yeah, but I mean, the, the odd thing, I, I got an elbow on the top of my head and had to get six staples on the top of my head. And I didn't want him to shave it, so I just told him to do it with the hair. And you didn't get any yeah. kind of resistance from the front office? Well, I, nobody knows. The it was people under the radar. Extra, they, they now never know, told you not to do that? Well, yeah, I mean, it's frowned upon, but they didn't know. So. Oh, they didn't know that you were working yeah, on it? Yeah, they didn't know. Until you came out with this great piece of uh, And now they know, but... No. I think they Ooh. knew that he was doing a project. They didn't know he was going through it firsthand. Yeah. So you know that next contract, there's going to be a clause in there. Well, right? I know. That's what I was <laughs> yeah, That's actually a good point. But we'll, we'll, you have we'll to try, try to, something new to we'll do try, we'll try that to they're not that. going to think of. What's your ultimate plan, Mario Lopez? In, in life? life and career. <laughs> life and career. You know, in life, um, my ultimate plan is to take care of my family the best I can to continue to um, to work hard to, to grow and expand and, and learn and, and surround myself with people that I love and care about and work with people that I, uh, that I care about and uh, to try to produce more so therefore create more opportunities for other little Mexican kids from Chula Vista <laughs> okay and uh, um, I just want to keep doing more of what I'm doing and, and hopefully just kind of continue growing with it.